Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see why do we use dollar symbol in AWK script. Then we are going to see about grab command, unique command, split command, and then about side command. Dollar symbol. Dollar symbol is used to select a particular column. For example, dollar one is used to select the first column, and dollar two is used to select the second column, and so on. Consider this data. Here we have three fields subject name, subject marks, and result. That is three columns. Here our task is to select only the data which is present under subject name column and subject result column. That is to select column one and column three. Here I am using online gdp.com to write the code. It is an online and free editor. So first I'll go here and I'll select the bash and I'll delete this uh, to select column 1 and column 3 from the data which was given I'll first paste the data here I will select text from here and I'll paste the input data here you can see there are three columns and we can select column 1 and column 3 by saying we can write AWK then inside begin section we will specify the field separator which is given here that's a pipe symbol then inside body section I'll simply say print then dollar one to select the first column and dollar three to select the third column that is the first column is subject name and the third column is subject result then I'll click run here you can see here we are getting only two columns that is the first column that is subject name and the third column that is subject result grep command grep command is used to search a particular character string or pattern in the file or in the input data it returns all the lines that contains the pattern which is specified in the command some important options that grep command can accept are hyphen i hyphen c hyphen v and hyphen o Hyphen I, it is used to perform case insensitive comparison that is to ignore the case while matching or searching the pattern. Hyphen C, it prints only the count of the lines that matches the searching pattern. Hyphen V, it prints out all the lines that do not match the pattern. Hyphen O, it prints only the matched part of the particular line. Consider the data which is given here. Here we have three fields, employee name, employee designation and employee salary. Here we are supposed to find or we are supposed to print the names of the employees having the designation as programmer. That is we are supposed to print first row, then fourth row and the fifth row because these employees have the designation as programmer. We can do that by writing grep. And to perform case insensitive comparison, we will specify the option hyphen i followed by the string which we want to compare with the input data. So I will specify the string as programmer. Then we will paste the input data here. And if we click on the run button, we can see it is fetching only those rows where the designation is programmer or it is fetching only those lines which has the word programmer unique command it prints only the unique lines from the input data it will eliminate all the duplicate lines from the input data executing the unique command without specifying any parameters simply omit the duplicates and it displays only the unique lines it has many options Important ones are hyphen C, hyphen D, and hyphen I. Hyphen C. It displays the duplicate lines count along with the line. That is, it displays a number along with the line, which indicates how many times that line has been repeated. Hyphen D. It will print only the duplicate lines and it will not print the lines which are unique in the file. Hyphen I. Normally, when you use the unique command, 
it will take the case of letters into consideration. But if you want to ignore the case, you can use hyphen I option so that it can perform case insensitive comparison. For example, consider this data. Here you can see every line is repeated twice. That's hello is repeated twice. How are you is repeated twice. And thank you is also repeated twice. Here, our task is to eliminate the duplicate lines from this data. That is to print hello, how are you and thank you without repetition. We can do that by simply writing unique comma. Now I'll paste the input data here. It's the same data which I have shown earlier. It contains repetition. Now if I click the run button, you can see here we have unique lines. That is in the output we have only the unique lines. The unique command has removed the repetition. Now if I specify the option hyphen C and click the run button, you can see we can also see the count that is how many times these lines have been repeated in the original input file. Split command. It is used to split the data based on the separator specified in the command and the result will be stored in an array so we can access the result by using the index. The syntax of split command is split followed by the column number. Here we specify the column number whose data we want to split. Then new array name. Here we specify the name of the array where we want to store the data after splitting and the separator. This separator specifies how the data in that particular column has been separated. For example, consider this data. Here we have two columns in the input data. The first column is employee name and second column is new salary. New salary comprises of two fields which are separated by colon. The first field here is the current salary and the second field specifies the height percentage. Here our task is to print only the increment or the height percentage excluding the current salary. That is we are supposed to print 5, 10, 20 and 7. First I will paste the input data. Input data is employee name and new salary. Now to print height percentage we can write AWK script. So I will write AWK and inside begin section I will specify field separator as pipe symbol. Then inside body section I will write split followed by the column number which I want to split that is in here that is second column so I will specify dollar two. Then the new array name so I will name it as ARR. You can see here the separator is colon so I will specify here colon. Now we can also print to confirm this that is I will write print and I will write dollar one that is employee name and I will write your increment percentage is then I will write here ARR here the 10,000 will be stored at the first index and 5 that is second field will be stored at the second index so I will write here ARR of 2 to select increment percentage now if I run the program I will get Daniel your increment percentage is 5 Girish, your increment percentage is 10 and so on. Set command. SED stands for Streamline Editor. The set command can perform many functions like searching, find and replace, insertion or deletion. The most common use of set command is to perform substitution that is to find and replace. Set command also supports regular expression which allows us to perform complex pattern matching operations. The syntax of set command is set then inside the single quotes 
first we'll specify the operation then search string that is the string which has to be searched then we'll specify the replacement string this is the string which will replace the search string and finally we'll specify the option for example you can see in the first example here we have specified the operation as yes so this will perform substitution operation s stands for substitution then in place of search string we have written unix and we haven't specified any option here so what this entire command will do is it will search the entire file for the word unix and it will replace that word with the word windows the second command here also we are performing a substitution operation but we have specified here option as two. That means what this command will do is it will scan each line and it will only replace the second occurrence of word Unix with the word Windows in each line. The third command in the third command we have specified the number two before specifying the operation and in options we have specified the option G. What this will do is this command will only replace all the instances of word unix with the word windows but only in the second line for example consider the data which is given here the input data consists of two lines which are how are you how and how are you how so what we want to do here is we want to replace all the instances of how with the word where first i'll paste the input data here now you can see here contains two lines now to replace the word how with the word where I'll first try to set command then I'll specify yes the yes stands for substitution operation then instead of search string I will specify how and in place of replacement string I will specify the word where because I want to replace the word how with the word where so now if I run the program, you can see here the first instance of each line which contains the word how has been replaced with the word where. So if I want to replace all the instances of word how with the word where, I can simply specify the option G. If I run this program again, you can see here all the how instances are replaced with the word where. And if I just want to replace all the second instances of word how with the word where in each line i can do that by saying the option as two now what it will do is this command will scan each line and it will replace the second instance of word how in each line with the word where so if i run the program now you can see here all the second instances of the word how has been replaced with the word where now if I want to replace the word how with the word where but only in the second line then I can specify the line number before the operation that is 2 and I want to replace all the instances of word how with the word where in the second line so I'll specify here G now if I run the program you can see here the all instances of word how has been replaced with the word where but only in the second line this was about unix commands if you have any doubts about any of the concepts which i explained you can ask those doubts in the comments and if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you for watching the video